Hey now. We are live as fuck right here. Let's go ahead and get the word out. I am very eager to start this since we had like a whole week off of regular streaming in the last three days. All I did was Pokemon Showdown, so I'm very anxious to get this going here with a brand new game. Start with Discord. Of course, I left that one server that I kept joking about how it doesn't need to exist. I was like, alright, it's time to call it a break on that, you know? Oh shit, that's. That's the wrong thing. Um. I didn't post in the wrong place anywhere else, did I? No, okay, good, just that one. And I fixed it. <laughs> I just looked at the chat. Hey, Ross and Noun. Yeah, says yo, and Noun says dude, so there's this song I like. Oh, man. You know, it's funny, uh, Noun, I was kind of thinking, like, when I get to the point where I want to do a Let's Play of East Origin, see, the thing is, like, there's, like, three ways to play through it because there's three characters and one of them you even have to unlock. And I was thinking kind of like I might record one playthrough for YouTube and maybe do the other two playthroughs the characters that play differently on Twitch. So you might be hearing that song three ways. Oh yeah. You're just here painting the remaining two revenants you got. Barons of Hell are next. Oh, that's going to look cool too. The the one revenant that you showed looked really awesome. All right, let me go post on uh, social media real quick. I'll be right back to look at the chat. Oh, come on, Facebook. Unfuck yourself. Oh. So I've literally never played this. Um, the only version of East 4 that I've ever played is Memories of Celseta. So I kind of want to experience Dawn of East and perhaps also Mask of the Sun on Twitch and just see what they're all about, you know? Okay. All my posts are out there. Jukebox hero stars and assigns. <laughs> Why, hello there, EV agent. Cause he's a jukebox hero. It's weird to sing that along to the East 5 soundtrack. Uh, how's it going? Hello. Gibbs, he just came over and said hi and then went right back to his bed. He came over and, like, nuzzled me and then went back to bed. He's, like, tired. I've been tired, Chad. I took a long nap. In the afternoon. Did not get nearly as much stuff done as I wanted to. I was just... <sighs> today. A little bit of recording. But, you know. It really do be like that. You wearing the shirt you got at the Foreigner concerts you went to? It was the Jukebox Hero Tour? Oh! I bet that's a good concert. Foreigner. I've heard good things about uh, their live performances. It's not stuck in your head, no. There are worse things to be stuck in your head, right? Oh my god, my phone's going berserk. Let me take it out of my pocket and see what the fuck that was about. Probably a tweet like or something. Yeah, somebody named Forsake the World liked my tweet saying that I'm live. Cool. You like Foreigner as a teenager? Yeah, they're a good band. They had a lot of good, they had a lot of good hits. How you doing, Gray? So, we're all going to be experiencing this for the first time. Um... I've never played East 4 other than Salsetta. I think I said there are two versions. I'll, I'll tell you guys the, the story of East 4 really quickly. What happened is that Falcom had just finished up working on East 3 Wanderers from East, which you guys saw last week, or well, two weeks ago, I guess. And um, they immediately started working on what would become East 5 on the Super Nintendo. Because they were... Uh, the first three games are actually released for PCs in Japan first before they were later ported to various consoles. And Falcom wanted to jump into direct development for consoles. And uh, But they also wanted to put out East 4, so it was going to take them a while to figure out how to develop for Super Famicom. So while they were figuring it out, they wrote a basic outline of the story of East 4. And they gave it to two different developers. Um, 
One was Tonkin House, who created East 4 Dawn of East which, on the Turbo Graphics, which is what we're playing today. And one, I'm sorry, that was Hudson Soft. Tonkin House created uh, the other game, East 4 Mask of the Sun, for the Super Nintendo, well, Super Famicom. Neither of them was released in America. Um, playing the trans fan translated version and also fan dubbed version of uh, oh god, Baby Shark, Jesus, of uh, East Four. So anyway, um, yeah, like fans argued about which one was like the real East Four because they're slightly different in the story and everything. Um, and what's interesting is that everybody agrees that Dawn of East is the better game, but um. Falcom actually said the canon one was actually Mask of the Sun because it was closer to their outline. It was a little closer to the story they had imagined. But I want to play this one because I've never had it and I heard it's really good. So we're going to try it out. You wish Police Nuts had a fan dub? Wow. I mean, maybe the people who did this could fan dub it. By the way, welcome to stream, Matt. Uh, now, I'm not planning on doing East 5 on Sundays because I want to do, I want to do that for YouTube. But um, what I might do is Mask of the Sun. Oh, the full ass wiener. Yeah, a full ass wiener. Speaking of full ass wieners, we're gonna uh, fade out the music here and play the intro, which which contains a reference to Nouns X, who's a human who continues to exist as a full ass wiener. The shit continued. Of course it did. The shit never stops. Let's play the intro. Maybe this will make you smile. I don't care how young you are, I'm going to kick you in the head repeatedly. Ah, brutality! I didn't even know I could do that shit. That was awesome. Get fucked. Oh, that's what I called it? Shit, I'm funny. After she ate the pitchfork, she ate like three tons of beans. And then as she was standing here, she blew it out her ass. He's not even a weenie, he's a full wiener. Like a weenie is like, wiener in training. But he's a full wiener. She do be wagging shit. Look at him, Poop me an egg barrel. Poop me an egg barrel. I never thought I'd hear that or read it. Well, I heard it because I said it. I read it and I said it and I heard it. Ah, your mother! Why did I go for the low poke when I knew he was gonna do that shit? Drink the Kool-Aid! That is legit a Chozo statue. It's it's a Cholo statue. It would be like. uh a goose walked up to a lemonade stand, and he said to the man running the stand, uh, 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 and then the guy died. Ball farts is the insult reserved for dong lords, but only the biggest dong lords are ball farts. Like all dong lords are, all ball farts are dong lords, but not all dong lords are ball farts. If that makes any kind of sense to you, then you're you're crazy. Your mom is covered in white sauce and has a crispy bottom. Okay, just show me what it looks like. I will smash you like a clam on my... Bro. Bro. And of course, somebody has to message me right as I'm starting. Hold on, let me... Alright, let me let him know that I'm live. Alright. So, you know, yeah, if I ever make a new intro, I'd probably put, like, Tanya ain't shit somewhere in there. But, um, right now I'm very much in love with this intro. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? The Dawn Lord's Bowl for us thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is, when I was saying that, EB Agent, I absolutely was thinking of the square rectangle thing. Well, yeah, I start early so that I could, you know, have time to set up and... Basically, it's just in case anything goes wrong and it takes me longer than average, then I'm still starting on time, you know what I mean? You probably were. A lot of my, uh, my best clips were clipped by now. So you get this cool intro showing you what happened in East 1 and 2. 
Because this is after East 2, but before East 3. Hey, no problem, Sarah. I'm glad you're here now. Oh, you're not seeing anything? Oh, my bad. That is completely my bad. There it is. Yeah, that's completely my fault. All right. Screen do be black. All right. I'm sorry, guys. You missed the intro. Let me let me let it play. Yeah, I was on the wrong scene there. Um, if I if I sit here long enough, it'll play it. But let's let's actually just get into the game. I played this for like about a minute or two the other day just to make sure that it was translated into English and that it worked properly. But I haven't seen much of it. There's Adel and Dogie. Hey, Adel. It's Adel. Hysteria. We're almost there. It's been a while. Can you believe you've been gone for two years? It's two years after East 2. I wonder how much it's changed. Hey, did you hear? Unfortunately for Pim, the boss went and opened himself a store. Minnie's got two of them now. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> we don't get to make fun of the uh, voice acting because it was done by fans. Adel and Doggy, a bromance for the ages. That is true. They really, They really are just like life partners. And it kind of flies in with what I think of Adel as being ace. Oh yeah, the voice acting is way beyond these three. You beat Pokemon Sword already, Sarah? Wow. Impressive. Who's your starter? Your hetero life mates like Jay and Silent Bob? Yeah, I guess so. I guess Adol is Silent Bob. That's Adol. Adol. Hey, boss. It's Adol, dude. It's been a long time, you They're showing that the characters can move diagonally now. Water? That makes sense. I got to use Into Leon on uh, Pokemon Showdown the other day. Well, yesterday. I see. Case, I'll go easy on. The voice acting is actually very good. It's the quality of the samples that's not amazing, but the fact that they made this work is is just so impressive. You two look well. This area has changed a lot since last you saw it. Nothing's changed more than you, eh, boss? Oh, you don't actually? I have a feeling she did pick water, though. East 4. Yeah, Sarah, we don't know which, which starter you picked. What the hell was that? You guys saw that at the top of the screen there? That was weird. Oh yeah, yeah, no studio, yeah, exactly, so, it's still the dawn of East. It's so impressive. There is a little bit of graphical glitching that I'm noticing. You had a Sobble named Will Smith. <laughs> That's great. Why'd you name him Will Smith? I love it, though. I'm not complaining. I'm just wondering what the the joke was. Hey, like, this is my Intellian, Will Smith. Grandma made Christmas cookies! Adol, you came back! People still talk about you, even now. I like the font they chose for this. Wait, is there a magic point stat in this? Mister, are you THE Adol? Because it's rewind time. Ah. Awesome. Spy theme. Oh, okay. I thought we'd never see you again. It's really good to see you. Welcome back, Adel. Remember me? It's Dr. Klaus. <laughs> the Adel? Who's the Adel? This guy's the Adel. <laughs> you look well. Ah, hang on. We haven't told Lilia that you're back yet. Oh my god, is she, thir is she still thirsty as fuck? Oh, go get her. Please tell me she has a boyfriend and she's not gonna, like... Try and get on my nuts. Oh, I can move. Okay. I can move diagonally, which is actually really cool. Alright. Let's see. We're getting along great with the people of East since, they, since it came to Earth. The missing fortune teller Sarah suddenly came back. What? Wait a minute. What? Sarah? Wait, hold on. She was murdered in East 1. So she wasn't really dead? What the fuck, game? Eek! Adel actually spoke to me! Well, 
spoke in quotes. Barbado Port is this way. You just arrived. You can't wait to want to go back already. Thanks to you, we now live in peace. If we only had the words to thank you. Well, the words thank and you pretty much do a bang-up job. Is this little girl following me around? Holy shit, she is. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Eat. Oh, no, get out of the way. Mr. Sarah wanted to see you. Her house is at the corner of town. I know where it is, but I thought she died. I, I This is the first I'm hearing about Sarah being alive in East 4. Oh, come on. No. It's my new... I'm, I'm her crush now. She's going to follow me around. Maybe if I go in here, she'll leave me alone. Adel, it's me, Sarah, the fortune teller. Have you been well? Uh, have you been well? I thought you died. I came back so I could see you. There's something I must tell you. Will you hear me out? Yeah. Two years ago, I crossed over to the mainland to escape from dark fact. Wait, so... Okay, so I guess she faked her death, is what this is saying. That she... She left Asteria and went to the mainland, which I assume would be in the closest area would be Salceda. And basically her grandmother was like, yeah, she died. She was murdered. But there was another reason apart from that. It was to seek out the source of evil light I saw in this crystal ball. I had the feeling it held greater resonance than that of Darm. The crystal ball showed me Salceda, which is not spelled right, but at least they phonetically... They got it right. It's supposed to be with the sea. A land shrouded in deep forest. The sea of trees. Oh my god, I can't wait to get to Salsetta. I've never heard of that game, maybe Agent. But demons began to appear and I was unable to continue my search. Adel, I'm sure you'd be able to get into Salsetta. It's not far from Promalok, a port town in the mainland. I hate to do this since you just returned, but I must ask a favor. Would you go to Salsetta? Okay, cool. Oh, the little girl's finally left me alone. So Salset is like the real life analog in uh, the real in the real world would be France. As the demons are gone, we can go outside peacefully. Do you remember Dr. Flair of Rance Village? He went to the mainland saying he was looking for ingredients to help make a cure-all medicine. I wonder what he's doing right now. Yeah, I never heard of it. Like what kinda what kind of game is that? Just Kind of curious since you guys are talking about it. Uh, is the weapon shop? If it is an adult, this is Rossetti's weaponry. I'm very proud of my swords are useful to you. If there's anything you need, come back anytime. How about right now? Oh! Children, you seem stuck together. Let me help you. Wait, wait, let me help you. Wait, 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 you're stuck. Wait, it, it's probably just something sticky. Let me help you out here. Wait, go. Alright, fuck you then. Jesus. Oh, it's a Half-Life fan spinoff? Oh, okay. Welcome to Dios's Armory. It's been a while, Adel. They're conjoined twins? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, EB agent. Are <laughs> they clipping? Oh, shit. <laughs> Since the demons are... I thought, you know, kids are always, like, sticky, like they're in covered in jelly or jam or glue or something. I figured they might have gotten stuck together and they would appreciate a little help. Since the demons are gone, business is slow nowadays, but peace is more important. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see what they say. Oh! Haven't we grown? From now on, as always, we'll keep sticking together. Okay. That's... Well, Valve doesn't seem to really care about Half-Life anymore, to be honest. Oh, my, Adel, you're back. Oh, this is my front. <laughs> Please enjoy your stay in peaceful Asteria. Okay. Loving the artwork so far. Hasn't it been two years since you were here last? Since then, something strange has happened. Want to hear? Yes. When the demons vanished, magic items like the wing stopped working. Why is that, I wonder? Because I destroyed the source of magic? Oh, here's the bar. I love the ambient noise. <laughs> Want to hear? Nope. Yo! Hello! Grandma's making Christmas cookies. <laughs> Dogie's already drunk. Oh 
now it's nighttime. Duh, that's Doki. Yeah, <laughs> didn't take him long. Well, he's very drunk. You didn't even see the game that line came from? Uh, which line? Doki's extremely drunk. Look at him. Okay. We're so drunk, we could walk diagonally. Hey, Nufi, have you ever played this clan? Oh, is that Lilia? They made her hair less red, which I approve of. Oh, yeah, that's actually a completely different game, Clint. I, I want, yeah, I bet she's thirsty as fuck. Dude, she walked all the way from East to get here to say hi to Adel. You know she's still trying to get on that. Oh, Grandma's making Chris. No, it's not from a game or anything. It's it's from Zombie Sneak Attack, actually. Oh, I love the lights coming on. Oh, the detail in this is impressive. What is it, boss? Adol's right here. I think Dogie's hung over. He's out. He didn't want to deal with her. He's like, oh, that fucking kid is going to try and do things to my body. Just as expected. <laughs> Let's see, we got Smiling Heart, Alligator, Amp, Energy, Cherry. What is this? Whoa, okay. You lost something there. You might want to pick that up. Please don't pan the camera down. I don't want to see this guy's dick fall off. Oh dear! This is fucking disturbing! I kind of understand why they didn't release it in America. He's made it a chewed bubblegum, that's real. Whoa, hello, that's bright. Uh, what year did this come out? I don't know off the top of my head. I can look it up real quick on my phone. <laughs> Dad, none of them. Just like that. It's useless without that power. This came out in 1993. So yeah, it is impressive for its time. Oh, there's Adel. I heard they're making Indiana Jones 5. Why would they de-age everyone? I mean, I thought Harrison Ford was going to be in it. Oh, this is like the fucking anime intro. Wait, I bet I know who, who that is. Wait. What's her name? Oh my god, I forget her name. Nah, I doubt they'll do that. There, okay, the one on the right's Bami. I forget the other guy's name. Because these characters are in the, the, the Vita game. But they're showing stuff that's actually in Salsetta when I haven't even gone there yet. But did, wait, did Adol already leave for Salsetta and that's why he was gone? They have fantastic hair. They got like the Magic Knight Ray Earth look to them with that big hair. And she's like, I still haven't gotten any dick. It's been two years since I met Adel in East, and I still haven't gotten any dick. And it's like, and you never will. That must be the Selsadden Forest. Narrator. And Lilia never got any dick. Sweet. 
It's so cold in the D. I'm on a boat. Okay, he, he fucking left! Adel gathered his things from the chest. Got an herb. Clearia sword. Clearia armor. Clearia shield. Alright, so I actually got some equipment here. Uh, how do I... Okay. Oh, not item. Well, I should probably equip that. Alright. Clearia, Clearia, Clearia. Why is it all the way on the right? Now in... Oh, I know this song too! This is... God. This is making me want to play Cell Set again, and I just finished it for YouTube. Oh, that's the wrong way. Hey, what's up? Oh, you're moving fast as fuck! Hey, can, can we talk? The ship ferries people back and forth across the Doral Sea. Cool. Demons are around. You should equip what you already have. No, oh, dude, I wasn't trying to talk to you. This is Promalock Port. So I'm, I'm in, I'm in Salsetta. All right. So like the the plot that started out Memories of Salsetta was actually that Adel had lost his memories, and he was also trying to literally map the forest. Move out of my way! Oh shit! Ludicrous came through here. Uh, I've never ha I've never played or watched anything to do with Magical Knight Ray Earth, but I've seen the artwork, so I know what it looks like. Yeah, first I'm trying- well, I mean, I already heard what he has to say. Whoa. This, this guy looks shady as fuck. Once I strike gold, I'll be a rich man. That's usually how it works, yes. You want to go to Salsetta? We can get you there, but it's full of demons. I, I'm used to dealing with demons. I'm, I'm glad they're saying demons and not goons. Life during the gold rush was so busy, it seems surreal now. That old lady's only son was killed by demons. She's been like that ever since. What old lady? Why does everybody here look shady as fuck? That commander's unit never seems to stop drinking. <laughs> seems like you're not drinking either. Growlancer? Is that like is that like a strategy RPG thing? I think I might have played it. I'm not sure. This bar is for soldiers' use only. No civilians allowed. No civilians allowed. Rome soldiers only. Get lost. I'm gonna go in anyway. Oh, all right, they're stopping me. What kind of shop is this? Dicks, yeah. Welcome, this is Dorian's Armory. With our reflex and tower shield, those demons don't stand a chance. Hmm? Your equipment is much better. Well, if you need anything, come again. Okay, so, like, basically they're telling me you can't buy anything, you already have the best equipment. Because if you look at here, it's all the way to the right. So I'm wondering, because in the remake you start out with nothing because, like, you, you've lost your memory and everything. And I'm wondering if this is, like, before that. I don't know. Now behold the most amazing acrobatics of the century. A moth will fly into me and I'll lose all my stuff? I hope not. Watch or miss out. Ha! In the remake it was that he... Dude, that ain't acrobatics. That's fucking witchcraft. Your head came off. Wait, you're gonna do it again? I kinda wanna see it again. What the actual fuck? You see, you guys saw the head? I'm glad this town's under protection from the demons. But even so, the soldier's arrogance is really annoying. I have to be like that. I hate the commander of the local unit. Leo, I think is his name. Oh, dude, Leo's actually a decent dude, though. He's, he's dumb as a rock, but he's a decent dude in the remake, at least. That does sound like good messages, though, now. Say, did you see the Rome Ford on the mountain pass? They're up to more than just wiping out demons. I know they're after something else. Yeah, dick. I wish I could get some head to move around like that, if you know what I mean. Oh, shit, Clint. Are you a soldier too, mister? No, I'm more of an adventurer. Welcome to Gibson's Weaponry. Sir, you have a fine sword. Even our pride, the Gladius, can't compete with your sword. Yeah, this, yeah I'm definitely going to lose this equipment at some point. There's no doubt. Even though this town's been very prosperous, it still feels kind of lonely. 
tool. Can start calling me Gibbs Gibson? Nah, I'd rather not. There's a certain ex-friend of mine with that name that I wouldn't like to think about too much, you know? What's wrong, Sarah? This is Clordo's item shop. What'll it be? Or so I'd like to say, but we're sold out right now. What, of everything? Of items? Oh, sorry, this is the item shop. I thought you had items here. You clearly have things on the shelf. Come again. <laughs> what? Yep, he's the Gibbsy Noodle. What the hell was that? He's like, ah, we're sold out of item. Ooh, the music. Holy shit. Oh, there's enemies out here. All right, let me make a save, because I haven't done that yet, and I probably should before I start dicking with enemies. What, are you offering a helmet? <laughs> Tool. Sorry, we're out of everything. Then why are you open, right? We're out of bomb and arrow. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, okay. So no Barbado mine, huh? Okay, it feels good. Feels like East 1 and 2. Except that moving diagonally, which is pretty cool. Hey, level up already. What's out here? Giant ants, fuck them up. Bombs, you want them? <laughs> Lamp oil, rope, bombs? You can't handle my potions. Good thing it feels good. Whoa, whoa, giant monkeys. It's like there's yetis in the... This can't be the forest of Celsetta already, I mean. I don't know, I'm just exploring now. I really don't know where I'm going, or... I think I might as well level up or something, right? I'm guessing this goes back to where I was. Oh. What is wrong, Sarah? You, you you keep saying, like, uh, okay, and stuff with, like, sad faces, and... Took Lincoln Snake a lot longer to figure that out, right? Anything down here? Ah! Come here, gotcha. I can't let that giant ant live. He flipped off my mom. All right. Oh, okay, we reached a bridge. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid is technically the third Metal Gear game. Okay, I'm just I'm just looking around. I haven't been hurt yet. That's because my armor is so good. But I figure, like, why don't I get, gain a few levels while I have, like, the really good equipment and don't have to worry too much about getting hurt? Let's see, what, what level am I here? Um, status. So I'm level two already. And I'll reach level three pretty soon. Ad Adel's just murdering orangutans and ants and tire birds. Um, I don't have any of the systems at Death Stranding. Well, I think it's only on PlayStation, actually. But uh, I heard it was good. It's just that, you know, it's a little pretentious, but... I've seen a little bit of it streamed, but I want to wait till, like, the whole thing is, like, on YouTube for me to watch. Yeah, you're <laughs> the entire bird, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Hmm. Oh, nothing over here? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody kind of expects it to be at least a little bit pretentious. So far, the game, this is, this is very pretty. The music's great. It feels good to control. I'm, uh, I'm impressed so far. And he basically was left to his own devices. Hey, level up! Okay. Ooh. Uh-oh, something's happening. Hey, come on! You're acting suspicious. Why have you come here? Oh! She kicked him in the dick. No regular girl would just wander up here, little. Just come quietly with us. Hey, man, who are you? Where did they get the voice actors from the guard? R slash incels? Okay, then very well. We'll take both of you in. Oh shit, she laid them the fuck out. 
and Karna. The village of Ariadne is far beyond this mountain path. Anyway, it's dangerous to me. Wait, this is Karna? Perhaps we'll meet again, fate willing. You look a little different, Karna. She's like one of my favorite characters from the remake. Breathe. In the remake, she didn't come to the town until they found her climbing on the walls. Oh, this must be Leo. Leo, your mustache is much more impressive than the, the, the modern version. Let's just push our tank in this direction. Why are you doing that? That seems excessive. <laughs> you see, Leo. A cannon with spikes. Yeah, why does a cannon have spikes? Leo's kind of a moron from what I remember in the remake. He's, he's not a bad person, but he's just, he's dumb. That's how I lose my equipment, huh? They put my ass in jail? Dude. Who dis? Alright, look. I get top bunk. Sir. You look very different in this version. Oh god, great, don't even joke about it. Ah, I'm bored. Nah, he's, he's ace as fuck. The ship is sailing. <laughs> what? What are you... Sir... Alright, well I guess that's one way to get exercise. Okay, you're going really fast. Okay, you're going really fast. Oh. And he just stops on a dime. Oh, hey, I didn't catch your name yet. Hmm, so you're Adel. By the way, you heard the rumor about Salsetta's Golden City? Uh, now I haven't, actually. You know about the gold rush? Seems that until two years ago, people flocked to Salsetta looking for gold. But it didn't work out. It was all just due to the rumor of a hidden golden city. Oh, and now he's, like, going back to sleep. No point in rushing when you're locked up. You were just rushing around the room. Uh -huh. Now how about going to your own bed and sleeping some? Yeah, it sounds good. I love the little sprite animations. Is, that, is Karna gonna bust us out? You don't get party members in this version, so it is Karna! The heck are you? Denied. Whoa! I don't know who you are, babe, but thanks a million. I told you to keep quiet. Now follow me. It's not it's not new at all, dude. And it I've I've said it many, many times. That is impressive, yeah. I feel like Luke Skywalker, that's impressive. Every bit of what you said was wrong. I'm stunned. You're good, Missy. Don't talk to me like I'm your girlfriend. Karna's a lot more, um, Huff in this version. Hey, Moogle. I didn't come here to rescue you. Right, so you came for Adel. Hey, Adel, you work fast. Uh, just shut up. Listen, we need to get out of here. Follow me. So I guess that's how you lose your awesome equipment. Soldiers are ahead. Keep it down. That spike tanks. Hey, Adel, look! It's their armory. Well, look, I'll just take this. Doing pretty good, Moogle. I got the Pugio? 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 I, I don't know what that. I guess Pugio. Got a Palma? What? 
And chainmail. That I understood. <laughs> I understood chainmail. Damn, the alarm. Get to the back entrance before they get here. Go! I didn't even get to equip my new equipment. You have heartburn. Oh, that's rough. Drink some, some milk. It usually neutralizes it. We did it! It's that back entrance? The prisoners are escaping! Oh! And just as we got here, too. <laughs> oh yeah, she she was after the de- Adel left the country to get away from her. Adel, and you, Missy. I'll leave the rest to you. You haven't been feeling good? Well, I hope you feel better soon. Hopefully the stream will cheer you up a bit. Who does he think he is? Adel, you take those three. Damn, oh, you kind of do get a party member. Damn, Karna, that was fucking sweet. All right, I'm not controlling this right now. Even Sonic's not that proactive to get rid of Amy, right? The soldiers won't follow us this far out of their fort. This road is the pass to the forest. Go down there, and you'll arrive at Arita Village. But there are demons around, so be careful. Well, then, I'm going ahead. Cool. All right, let's... Oh, hello. I wanted to save it. Uh, let's do that. So I'll set a pass. All right, let me look at my equipment. So I have Palma, Pugio, and Chainmail. I don't know what any of that shit means, but all right. Can I go back up in there? Like, is it bad if I go up in here? All right, it's like locked or whatever. Soldiers are tethered to their fort. They'll disintegrate if they get more than 20 yards away. That's real. That's super real. All right. Oh, hello. Big ass cyclopses. All right. Cool. I hate fucking centipedes, dude. Oh god. All right, let's heal. Wow, they are not shy about throwing lots of enemies at you right away. What about- I like Scallopede. Yeah, Scallopede's the one centipede that I do like. Level up! I don't know why I like Scallopede, but... I generally hate it. Yeah, this is- this is a fucking cool game. Oh god. I want to explore a bit. I know I remember this so song from the remake too. That guy fucked me up a little. Alright, I got real heal heal. Doing pretty good, Azoth. How you doing? Is this the mine? It's locked. Okay. That might be the mine. Chillin'. I'm playing East 4, Dawn of East for the first time. Sent a Scorch? Yeah, I've uh, I've used it in um, Showdown, actually. The bug fire type, right? There was like another way to go that I want to check out. Oh, hello. Because believe it or not, as of yesterday, uh, Gen 8 is in beta form over at, uh... at, uh, uh, Showdown. Which is pretty cool. Like, you can't... Oh, it just it's dead end? Alright. Like, you can't do, like, every... Like, you can only do, like, randoms and, like, OU and, uh, doubles battles. So it's not fully fleshed out yet, but... Yeah, they didn't waste much time at all, huh? I suspect they've been working on it for, like, a while. Yeah, Sarah actually already beat Sword version, which is so impressive. Like, she's already champion of the Galar region. Okay, so that was just a dead end. I had to know. Oh, okay. What the? That equipment? You're a Rome soldier. No, I'm not. We won't let you bastards have your way with Salsetta. No, I'm not from Rome, dude. I'm from East. Well, technically not, but you get it. Wait, he's no Rome soldier. 
I know Vulpix is in it. I'm not sure about Kavatops. Commander Karna. Wait, Karna's a command. Oh, this is her village? Wait, wasn't her brother the commander? You're late. I'm glad you made it here safely. You only played Gen 1, you started Gen 2, but you got bored. Ah. Uh... Gen 2 was really good, though. Listen, everyone, the man has no ties to the Rome Empire. Trust me. Understood. I thought she was... Well, no, her, no, her father was the chief in the remake. She was, like, the head of the hunters. I'm sorry, those guys are the forest militia. Everyone's on edge lately with events as they are. And also, it took you a long time to meet her in the remake. This is the village entrance. Come on in. So is it like a tree village, or... No, it doesn't look like a tree village. All right. This is Arita Village. It doesn't look like it does in the remake. That's cool. If you want Karna, she's gone back to her house. Well, I don't want her like that. Look around, I guess. The demons have been multiplying rapidly as of late. Yeah, I noticed that. Ah, Adel, let me welcome you into my home. I found her fast, damn. As you've seen, Celceta is overrun by demons, and things are pretty bad. In the past, it was a peaceful and quiet place. It's also traded heavily with Promalok. But since the demons occur appeared two, uh, two years ago, that basically that basically died off. I gotta slow down here. Hey, oh, hey, what's up? Is that really you? Sure is. I never thought I'd see you here, my boy. My boy. Yeah, Karna never showed interest in Adel in that sense, at least in the version I played. The voice acting was done by fans, Riddle. This is a fan dub, so we, we, we don't get to make fun of it. Whoa. Holy shit. Freaking stretched my neck and my headphones came off. It means I gotta tighten them. There we go. Okay. I missed the last part of what he said. At night, you can hear the screeches of demons coming from the mine. I was so scared, I wet my bed. That's a lot to tell to a, a random stranger. I mean, I get the demons are scary, but you could have left out the wet your bed part. My hip is all better thanks to Dr. Flair. I'm so grateful. This is what all true warriors strive for. Yep. Wait, where did that person go? Wait, wait, wait! Get back here, I'm talking to you! The militia aren't just defending the village from demons, but also from the Rome Empire. Since the demons appeared, few people are visiting. That's only natural. Even I want to run away. Shit. Alright, so this is like... Must be Dr. Flair's place. The doctor's out. I'm just his assistant, Bill. If you want the doctor, I think he's nearby. Ah, I already talked to you. Hey, what's up? Kid, hey, kid, kid, kid. When I grow up, I'm gonna be in the militia. Miss Karn is the leader of the forest militia. If you come across the fire mountain ahead, if you cross the fire mountain ahead, you'll enter the forest. Even though you know our leader, I still can't let you pass for no reason. Okay. I'm Macarl, the mayor of Arita Village. I heard about you from Dr. Flair the Asterian. Yeah, they had a lot of professional voice actors for East 1 and 2 on the Turbo. Aren't you the famous Turo who freed Asteria two years ago? There is something I would like to ask of one such as you. Will you hear me out? Yes. Something happened about a week ago. My son Lemnos... Oh, okay, so Lemnos... Lemnos should be... This is... So this is... This is Karna's dad. It's actually Remnos, but they... They got the R and L mixed up. So Remnos is Karna's brother, and I remember him... He got, like, deeply involved in the cult and everything, and he... I think he even wore the Mask of the Sun at one point. <laughs> Guess what? I pissed myself. <laughs> Since then, we've been hearing an eerie howl from there at night. Volunteers from the militia entered the mine, but none have returned. Swordsman, we can do no more with our efforts. I'd like you to lend us your skill with the sword. Please take this key. t Spakuru, how's it going? Eh, alright, I got the key to the mine. So that's like, gonna be the first dungeon, I guess. I'm not just asking because he's my son. If this goes on, there are sure to be more victims. Please use your power to dispel the demons of the mine. I'm gonna dispel them with 
with extreme prejudice. You don't worry. I'm gonna kick their fucking asses. I must explore the rest of the town first, though. I can't go in there. Oh, I wasn't trying to talk to you. No, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Can't get in there. Oh, it's a shop. Yeah, you could use my cell phone number. Welcome to Moscort Weapons and Armor Shop. If you're fighting demons, it'd be a good idea to buy my wares. What would you like? What do you have? So, oh, they have a long sword. How much is it? It's a big sword and kind of unwelly, but I think you'll be fine. 400 gold. I can afford that. Let's get that. All right. And how much for armor? The buckler and plate. So that's a shield. Okay, let me see how much they are. 200 for that. Uh, I can afford that. Let's get that. And the plate mail is how much? 600. All right, I'm going to go out and grind up for that. Do I want email notifications? Yeah, do you, you know my email, right? All right, let me equip that stuff. So there's like second tier equipment already. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, T Sparkle's hosting me. Thank you for the host, sir. Your time is 51 minutes and 13 seconds. So I need 600 for the armor. Mister, kill those demons in the mine for me. If you do, I'll stop wetting my bed, I think. This is the second kid to tell me that they wet their bed. Wait. It's like, well, well, Mister, kill those demons in the mine for me. If you do, I'll stop wetting the bed, uh, I think. Sarah, thank you for the host. Well, uh, sometimes I wet the bed when I'm thinking of Undyne. Wait, have I been in here? Children have no shame. That's true. Oh, it's Karna. Okay. I'm sorry, but I listened on your talk with the mayor. It's selfish of us to make such a request of a stranger like you. It's our problem, so we didn't want to have to involve you. But we can defeat the demon in the mine. If you saved Asteri, you can probably do this too. Don't trouble yourself too much. If it gets too risky, turn back. All right. So let's go grind up a little money and uh, get that armor. Yeah, our Adel's demeanor is so comforting. Everybody tells them about when they piss the bed. This ain't gonna take that long, because even though they don't give a lot, you, you, there's a lot of enemies out here. Unless he's secretly laughing after he's like, <laughs> piss the bed. Hey, Greg, what's going on? This is the area that I seem to find the most enemies in. Like this road here. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to go up that far. Yeah. Uh, we heard you are a hero. Can, can you hero for us so uh, I can stop pissing myself? Oh, hello. Your friends are the couple that would brutally and privately argue in front of you. And you said you're scared of what they argue about, and you're not there. You said, oh, Matt, it's the same. Yeah, you're right. That's not any better. That's worse, if anything. Yeah, I agree. If I saw... A, honestly, I'd probably bail if I saw a centipede that was slightly larger than average. I'd be like, yeah, nope, 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 nope. Level up. Heal, heal, heal. It actually is kind of taking a while. Maybe I should go into the mine. There might be better enemies, like, near the entrance or whatever. Right. Now I'm getting more enemies. Go figure. Let's do that. Now, of course, now I'm getting tons of enemies all at once. They're broken up now? There's a shock. Jesus, CP agent. What is it with spiders and doorways? I'm not, like, really, like, afraid of spiders, but I don't really much care for them, you know? Like, uh, Armageddon time, my friend Jesse, he's deathly afraid of spiders. He can't even look at a picture of a spider without even freaking out. Good idea, T-Sparkle. I mean, somebody's always home, so... 
And the reason that uh, Mom picked FedEx was because she said that FedEx will bring it right to the door instead of uh, dropping it in, like, the driveway, which is what a lot of the others do. She didn't... Like, I started off with, okay, so the Postal Service, and she's like, I don't want to deal with the Postal Service. Let's go check out, see if there's enemies in the mine that give more money. Because this is taking a while. Got a bit of an ant problem? That sucks. That's not the way to the mine. I gotta go further down and then left. I'm unfamiliar with the map, guys, so... <laughs> it's not like in the remake. The remake is a lot different. Let's see. Use the mine key. Terrified of spiders? I can understand. Oh, it's dark in here. Let me save it. Are there even enemies in here? Well, they give slightly more money. You know what? I can't heal in here, though. East 4 has a baffling history? Yeah. So, um, this is one of the originals. Basically, um, Falcom did not make an East 4. They went right from East 3 to 5, and they gave the outline of the story for East 4 to two different developers. Fa um, Hudson Soft, who made this game, East 4 The Dawn of East, on the Turbo Graphics CD. And uh, Tonkin House, who made the um, the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom version, East 4 Mask of the Sun. So this is the one that's usually considered to be a better game, whereas Mask of the Sun stuck closer to their uh, to their story, so it was considered the canon one for a long time. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was an enemy. There was also a, a version later by Taito on the PlayStation 2 called East 4 Mask of the Sun, A New Theory. Oh, Jesus, now. I mean, I'm being flippant here, but, like, would it make it better if I, you know, kick people in the dick? Or had, had a score bunny kick them in the dick? <laughs> Have you guys seen that video, score bunny kicks you in the dick? I should go back to making videos like that. Have you considered that I don't want to, maybe? Alright, I just go out to heal real quick. It's gonna take a while to get up to 600 monies, either way. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd, li I'd like to make videos like that, but there's, there's reasons why I stopped, you know? Wait, wasn't there, like, another way to go? They're, those videos are extremely time-consuming to make. Oh, wait. It's okay, Noun. I mean, I don't think you're being a drama queen. It's just that you you have a lot of drama going on, and you are a queen. So it's it's coincidental, you know? I might need a map for this. This is a little crazy. Are there no enemies in here? I'm looking to fight enemies. Maybe go back. I think I might have to look up, like, maps or something, because this is a bit cray-cray. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend walking across town with a computer, either. Alright, let me, uh, let me see if I can bring up a map or something, because I, I really would not like to get lost in here. Let's see. East 4, Dawn of East maps. Video Game Atlas, TurboGrafx-16 maps, that might help. Uh... Oh, this is like every turbo game. Wait, hold on. East 1 and 2. East 4, here we go. Area to mine! Okay. Oh, okay, it's not that big of an area. Alright. Alright, where am I going to put this? 
put this down here for now. Oh, there's a dark gym leader in Gen 8? That's cool. Wait, okay, but where exactly am I, though? I think I... Whoa! These guys are dicks. Kick them in the dick. All right. Hi, Gibbsy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I gotta find my way out of here and heal. Oh, I found an item. A herb. Use it? Yes. Wait, okay, so wait. I see power ring on this map. I don't see herb. Oh, okay, now I see it. All right. All right, I know where I am now. Oh, hello. It asked me to use the herb because I already had one. All right, so we want to go this way. And then uh, from here, because I'm trying to get out. Okay, up and to the left. I just think it's cool that they finally put in a dark gym leader, you know? Like, there should have been one a long time ago. Doing one single weed in the cave? <laughs> Adel went to the dark cave and did a weed. Alright, well, there's another item hidden in here called a power ring. I should probably try and get that. Also, there's a boss in this area. Let me uh, make a make a beeline for that power ring, though. That sounds like it would be cool. I'd probably do like more damage or something. He did one. Ex he did one marijuana. There was a dark gym leader in Pokemon Black and White. Are you sure? I don't remember that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I thought there wasn't ever a dark gym leader. There's been dark dark type specialists and oh god, fucked up there in Elite Four, but. Not gym leaders. Adel needs the weed to chillax, knowing that Lilia could be lurking around the corner. Holy shit. I love that, like, we've... We've made Lilia into, like, a stalker. In our fa in our fan in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. He was in the Elite Four. Not, not a gym leader. Head cannon, fan, and yeah, it's all the same shit, right? This place is a little dangerous. I can't wait to get that armor. It has taken a while to get up the money to do it, though. So you want to go up this way. Okay. Now, it seems like... Uh, let me just look at... Just reference them out. Okay, so if I just go left and just follow that path, it should bring me to another treasure chest. Oh, this place is fucking creepy. All right. Level up. It's locked. Oh, it's locked? It's locked? Okay, so I guess I need a key for that. There's no other treasure chests in here, so... I don't need that much more money. I need another hot, like another 99, and I'll be able to afford the armor. It's clear that the level design was basically based on the fact that you can now move diagonally. There's a lot of diagonals. I think it is safer to do it outside, though. You gotta get the Zelda key. It, they do look like treasure chests from Zelda, don't they? They were very proud of diagonal movement, right? They should be. It feels great. Five below will raise the price of some items above $85. That's like a, a thing I saw in List Critics where it was like, uh, there was literally a store that the name of the store was nothing above a dollar or something like that. And then they had to sign everything a dollar and up. I know, I know what you meant. 
I thought they should change the name of the store. That's that's fuck shit. Link could move diagonally and link to the past, Gray. What are you talking about? And Link's awakening on the Game Boy. But but yeah, Link to the Past lets you move diagonally. What picture are you wanting to post? A picture of who? This scroll. I'm sorry. I, I when the chat moves quickly, I can't see everything. You definitely can move diagonally and Link to the Past. Oh god, oh god, that thing fucked me up. The Dark Gym Leader? Why? Go ahead, post it, I don't give a shit. In the Discord, post it. Don't post it, like, there, because nobody's gonna want to click on it. You could, if, if you're concerned about spoilers, you can, um, you can mark a picture as a spoiler when you put it in Discord, so people have to click on it to see it. Oh, I have enough money. You meant with the distinct diagonal animation? Yeah, but there's no distinct diagonal animation for Adel here. Oh, wait, what are you saying? Some guy messaged you after your stream, tried flirting with you, and sent a pic of himself. Then he said, I need to start deleting pics. Almost sent the wrong one. Oh, so he's basically telling you, I have dick pics if you're interested. At least he said that and, like, hinted at the existence of dick pics instead of just sending you one, which is what most guys do. Let's be real. Alright, here we are. Welcome to the Muskert Weapons and Amy Shop. Yee. Don't send nudes, people. That's true. Alright, so we're gonna get the plate mail, I believe. 600 gold. Yes. No, no, no. Na, 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 na. Yeah, but basically that was a hint like, by the way. <laughs> I almost sent the wrong thing. <laughs> you almost saw my penis. <laughs> Still creepy, but it's less creepy. Let's save it. Yeah, but like I said, Azoth, you can mark um, a picture as a spoiler. When you put it into the Discord right before you hit like post, there's a option to mark it as a spoiler and a, a person who wants to see it would have to click on it to see it the first time you're using your stream oh so is this some creepy older dude or is it at least someone like around your age okay so i guess i gotta make my way to the boss because i can't get that power ring without a key for it thankfully it's not that uh convoluted of a way to go Looks like he's in his 20s. Well, you're newly in your 20s. I mean, you're 20. Okay, so the best route to get there would be to try to go all the way to the right and then move my way up from there. Oh, God. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I only got hit a little bit. All right, gotcha. Gotcha, all right. We're making things happen, guys. Uh, I think I go this way, or I might need to go further down, let me see. This might be, no, it's a dead end, all right, I go further down. Yes, this is it. All right, let's save it, because I know there's a boss coming up. Let's see how bad this is going to be. Uh, 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 uh. It's going to be a spider. It's going to be a spider. Oh, I love the animation. Spodermang, Spodermang. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, I get it. I get it. Okay. You just gotta avoid touching the legs. Okay, I get it. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. I can't access the menu, so I can't use my herb. Good thing I saved it. Oh god. This guy's hurt box is gigantic. Alright. 
No! Oh, wait, okay, I had the herb on start. Okay, cool. Technically, this isn't even a spider, because it only has six legs. Urgh. Oh god! Uh. It's not a bad boss. I gotta be careful. Only touch the pink part, ladies. Oh god, he's getting all fast as fuck! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All day long. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Will I sing this song? Fuck, fuck, fuck. All day long. I got him! Oh, lewd. Hey, Terry. How's it going? Holy shit. Yeah, it's kind of like the secret of Mana Boss. I leveled up. Holy shit. Oh, that was Remnos? I don't remember him turning into a spider in the remake. I look at him when I'm not streaming. I am interested to see it, but what in the world happened to you? Obviously, a creepy mask turned him into a spider. Adol, we're going to take Lemnos back to the village. Be careful on your way back. Can you get the key to that treasure chest, Karna? Please. The key you gave me didn't open up the treasure chest. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Remi just reminding you about that treasure chest. Okay, cool. We killed the first boss. I should save it. Holy shit. Okay. At least that area was well lit. Um, I'm gonna save. The first secret amount of boss is hardcore as fuck. Okay. Alright. Get the hell out of here. This creepy fucking place. Bubblegum spewing giant spiders. Nice, nasty. Should remember to buy another herb when I have the opportunity to, though who knows when I'll have the opportunity to, but I definitely needed to use it there. Dick bag. Wait, I don't go. Do I want to go that way? Actually, I think I do want to go that way. And then down here? Yep. I might have been wrong. No, nope, that was right. Okay. Oh god. Alright. And then... here? Okay. And we're out! Okay, so far, this game's pretty fucking awesome. Oh, I should heal. Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know. Okay, Remnos is being treated at the hospital now, so I should go to the hospital. All right. Oh, hey, what's up? Ah, Swordsman. Remnos is receiving treatment from Dr. Flair. No, please don't think it was you It hurt him. Yeah, we were talking about dark type, like dark, like somebody that specializes in the dark type Pokemon. Given the situation, all anyone could do was fight. It's like the mayor says, the ones that falter are those that turned him into a demon. Um, actually, I've never played Live Alive, but I that is a game that I very much want to do on stream, like probably sometime soon. The plan to do is to do it after Terra Enigma, Matt. I, that's a game that I very much want to play, because I heard that there's a translation and everything, and I've heard it's really good. Phew, he's kind of weak, but he'll be fine now. Thank you, Dr. Flair. It looks like you got back safely too, Adel. Still, for Renmos to be turned into a demon. That means... That reminds me, Renmos was talking about the Clan of Darkness before. He said we must protect Lord Slano's tomb from them. Mayor, I'm going to check Lord Slamo's tomb. Who the fuck is Lord Slamo? Wait, Karna, if you go alone... Don't worry, she's hella tough. Adel, I beg of you. Will you please go with her? Sure. I'm sorry for making so many unreasonable demands, Swordsman. Nobody has seen it, but it's said that a special treasure is enshrined in Solano's tomb. Dude, there was a treasure back in that mine, and I couldn't open it. 
That's because that treasure is probably what the Clan of Darkness is after. But mainly, I'm just worrying, worried about Karna. Please get to the Fire Mountain where Slano's tomb lies. Interesting. Okay. What's your problem? I'm sorry for making... Oh, yeah, yeah we've already heard that. Hopefully, what's not like that on RPG? Yeah, we're talking about gym leaders, Azoth. There's pl plenty of dark-type specialists in Pokemon, but never, like, a gym leader. Do they... I, I want to buy an herb, but I don't know if I can get one here. I think they only sell weapons and items here. Yeah, weapons and armor, rather, yeah. Wait, mate, I might be able to buy it at the hospital. If it's, like, East, uh, 2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, buy herb. Here we go. See, let Ramnos... Oh, herb. 100 gold? All right, yeah, we'll buy that. Yeah, I know what game you're talking about, but what are you saying you hope is not like that? Uh, let's talk to Ramnos. Ramnos is still unconscious. You can't speak to him yet. Oh, well. All right, let's get out of here. I have to continue to work hard to become a great doctor. Dude, you're like 11 years old. I mean, I... Also, why do you have a drawing of a Pokemon up on the wall? I just noticed that. Alright, let me save it. Okay, so we're going to Fire Mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie! Dookie Hauser's here to help. <laughs> I gotta remember that they're... Oh, Live Alive? No, Live Alive's nothing like that. Live Alive is, is, is supposedly a very good game that I really want to play. It's true, you want to just, like, yeet that bastard right out of your life. Just, just defenestrate with extreme prejudice. Uh, That's an interesting area. Doesn't seem to be any demons here. Oh, oh, hey, Karna. Are you okay? Oh, shit. He comes at me with his fucking smiley face. Y'all saw that shit? The fucking smiley face shield. Ugh. Ah. The smiley face guy got you, Karn? Are you okay? Ah, I don't... It looks like I wasn't ready for this. Yeah, I know, you see the shield, you think the guy's friendly, but then he kicks your ass. I'd be happy if you could lend a hand. It's the magician from earlier took his own head off, right? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus. Well then, let's go to Lord Slamo's tomb. If we don't hurry, those guys will beat us there. Although, if you did want him completely out of your life, that would be reasonable. Is that Lord Slano's tent? Not that way! Oh, Jesus! You gonna side seat drive? Is this a dungeon? Oh, shit, it is. This is the Nelgal Lava Pits. It's said that Slano's tomb is within... Alright, I should look... I, I, I need a map. Nelgal... Hold on. Uh... Nelgal Lava Pits. Here we are. Cool. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, get it till my birthday, probably, but yeah. Thanks, T-Sparkle. Wait, hold on. This, this is... Oh, okay, this part's very, actually very straightforward. I don't need a map. Are you ready? Don't worry, even if you lose sight of me. The demons are strong, so I won't leave you to fight them on your own. That's true. That's, that's real, though, now. Let's go in. Roly-poly, motherfucker! Oh, I wanted to kill him. I, look, look, you don't have to worry about, like, levels and experience and, oh, smiley face guy, and all that shit. I want to kill the guys. Let me be the one to kill them. Wait, the map looked very straightforward, but this reminds me of Burned Bless. Oh, dickhead. Those guys are actually annoying. Huh. Alright, let, let me try again to get a map of this place, because... Oh, there's a north and a south to it. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, this is the... Holy shit. Um... Okay, yeah, that's... Alright, I kind of see where I need to go. I was actually... Oops, sorry about that. I was actually already there. There doesn't seem to be any items or anything in the area. Alright, Lurker Lives Matter, man. Damn 
Damn it. They just keep, like, pushing me out of the way, and then she kills them. I need to, like, go out and heal, though. Gonna be the RAs of RAs. Hey, Manic, how's it going? Got him. All right. Come here, you bitch. That's right. I love how she one-shots these enemies, though. I don't think you, like, Yeah, I don't get experience points when she does that shit, though. Just want to heal. I saw which way I needed to go, but... I do have an herb that I should equip, actually. Alright, there we go. How's it going, Maddox Scarecrow? Fuck him. Alright. Fuck him! He's a dick! Jesus, I keep taking damage. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Oh, okay. Uh. I don't think I can pass that. I think it would be bad news bears if I tried to touch that. I'm gonna try anyway, but. Oh, you just. Okay, you just stop. Alright. Alright, I gotta go a little further south then. Oh, cool. Oh, that guy screwed me up. Well, since I'm not that far from the entrance, I should... And I just leveled. I should back out and heal again. This game don't fuck around. You mean the week starting today? I knew what you meant, though. What, uh, what day are you off? Out of curiosity. Shit. Immediately I get pwned. Immediately. Karna. Ba, 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 ba. Jesus. Whatever. Alright. So the object is to go all the way down and to the left. Not there. I gotta get further down and to the left. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. Okay. Monday or Wednesday? Ah, well. Those are both uh, daytime streams. Okay, yeah, it's down there I need to get. Alright. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Fiction often forgets a hot... Yeah, convection conschmection, conf right? All right, let me let me uh, look at my map a little. Oh, I just scroll my map up, I guess. Okay. Yeah, being this close to lava, you'd probably burst into flames. Got him. All right. So this place isn't super complicated. But then again, Adel's one hella tough motherfucker, so there's that, too. Got him. Uh... Okay. Ooh, there's something here. It's locked, though. Shit. Wait, what's supposed to be in it? Let me see. This thing tells me. It's a mattock. Okay. Yeah, convection would murder you. It's true. But video games, you know? Video games. Video games! Karna, what are you doing? You're stuck. Uh, okay. Oh god. Oh, she got him. Okay. This is fucking fun, though. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Treasure box key! The video games! Video games let you believe that spikes laying around be a far greater problem in your life than actually proven to be. Alright, well, you know I'm not sticking around here, right? I'm gonna go back and get that other thing. But first, I'm gonna get the one that I, that I just saw. 
Well, let me save it, since I got a, an important item. It is not that cold in space. Um, it actually is cold in space, but because there's not much matter to transfer the heat away from you, uh, you would you would lose heat very slowly. Which is kind of what you said, but I wanted to make that distinction, because, you know, pedantics. Nerd! <laughs> yeah, that treasure chest. I want to get that. And then we'll go back and get the other one that was in the mine. Wait, she might not let me go back. There's the Matic. Okay, physics, bitches. Yeah, science! Magnets, bitch! I don't know if she's going to let me leave this area. I'm going to try, though. Well, I mean, it depends on how, how close you are to, like, a star or whatever. I left her ass behind. Yeah, magnets, Mr. White. Science, bitch! Wait, did I go the wrong way? Looks like I did. Alright. I did not make any insane clown bossy references. You know who likes ICP? That guy with the fake name. The dude with the fake sounding name is a huge fan. Alright, cool. See, she didn't even let me go the wrong way down here. I wonder if she'll let me go back to the village and check out. Guess who introduced you to ICP's music? Oh, I know. I know a certain mutual friend that used to be into them. I actually, I'll be honest with you, I've never heard their music. Well, she hasn't stopped me yet. But I would guess that it would be AJ, because I know AJ was into it a long time ago. Oh, she disappeared. I'm fine with that, actually. Yeah, I'm not trying talking to you. <laughs> Holy shit, EV agent, that's great. Oh my god. No, it was actually said X. Oh. That's very different. That is very, very different. Okay, wait. Um, shit, I don't have the map of this place open, but I'm pretty sure I can find my way there without it. This place wasn't too complicated. Okay. Get out of my jock. Alright. Probably Moogle. Well, you know, here's the thing. There are so many furries out there. Like, there's, like, a lot of them. There's overlap in everything. So I believe the treasure box that I couldn't open was this way. Yep, there it is. Kill that Brock first. Though. Got the power ring! Yeet! There's a board court jugglers for Jesus. Yeah. That's that's not surprising. <laughs> so... I'm guessing that just makes my, my strikes more powerful. That's not... Accurate, Matt. <laughs> it's not accurate at all. Like, I know two furries and neither of them are gay. One's straight and the other is ace. You read it somewhere? Well, if you read it on the internet, it has to be true, right? <laughs> oh, God. All right, I got the thing. I got the thing. I've been thinking about that thing for a while. Yeah, see, Noun's a furry. Oh, I didn't know you were furry, but Noun's a furry and his pan. And actually, I know another furry, and I think of it, who is straight. So, yeah, that kind of pokes a lot of holes there. The only gay furry that I can even think of would be, like, Sonic Fox. Oh, see, so she just waits there for you. Cool. Let's save it. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's like they're people or something, right? Yeah. Oh, come on this way. So she won't let me go south of there, but <laughs> she'll let me go back to the first dungeon. I ain't complaining. It's all it is what it is, right? Actually, there's no reason to go that way. Oh, I'm definitely doing more damage than I was before with that power ring. Okay, cool. Uh, I think more down here. Okay. Yeah, but you don't know that, Matt. You're just saying you read it somewhere, but you don't know that what you read was bullshit. Because it... <laughs> no. I'm telling you that it's not accurate, okay? And even if it was accurate, what does it fucking matter and why is that a thought worth bringing up? Like, answer that question before you say anything else. Like, why is it even worth bringing up? And what does it matter? Okay, so... Oh, well, I already got that. Yeah, it's true. Clint said the truth. Why are you out here speaking truths, Clint? Oh, left her ass behind again. Wait, I need to go up further. Because that was where the treasure box key was. Yeah, but you're wrong. Like, you're saying it might have some insight, but you're wrong. Like, you're saying something that is the opposite of a fact. So just try to consider that. Like, why are you still going? Oh! Shit. Alright, that was incorrect. I need to be further down. What do you mean, drop it for now? Drop it for good, because that's not... You're, you're, you're spewing something that doesn't have any basis in anything. So it's this way I go, I guess? Uh, but there's a dead end. Huh. All right, let me, let me study this map a brief moment, because I don't s see where else I would go. Well, wait, I got a Matic. What, do, what would I do with a Matic? Is there, like, a place that I'd have to break open something, or...? Hmm. I could try going to where that lava is, although I don't see that... Jump. Yeah, <laughs> there's no jump button in this one. Dig under the lava. <laughs> Let me just make sure that there was nothing else up here other than that treasure box. No, a matic is, not, is, is a mining tool used to break rocks and stuff. Yeah, okay, there's literally just that. Alright, so I gotta... Wait, maybe I should equip the matic at some point? I can't seem to get the cursor over there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just break this wall. Adol struck the ground at his feet with the matic. Oh, wait, something's ha- I was just doing that randomly. I didn't expect anything to happen. It, is that bad? It's similar to a pickaxe. What? What? I didn't mean it. Wait, 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 wait. What if that thing fell down onto the other thing? I was just like seeing it. Oh, I was right. Dude, that was complete luck. I didn't like magically figure that out. That was luck. Get back here, you fiery bastard. All right, so wait, where am I on the map now? I am over here, so. There's another treasure chest with an herb and Slano's tomb is in the screen, okay. Yeah, that luck though, holy crap, all right. Oh, hello. I right, can't go there.
Oh, hey, Chris. You aim under the enemies to hit them. Ah! What are you talking about aim under the enemies to hit them? You don't aim under the... You just go, like, kind of a little off-center. Oh, thank you, Karna. Not that one. Burning Man! Okay, we're making progress. There's an herb right before Slano's tomb, so I can heal up right there. Oh god. Gotta be careful with those smiley face guys. Wait, yep. Karna is stuck again. Okay, here. Yeah. Um, there was a translation for East 5, but I don't think it applied to Expert. Use it, yes. She'll teleport to you. Oh, yeah, eventually she'll... F yeah, see? She's there. Eventually she'll figure it out. The teleport magic will happen. Oh! Damn it. Fucking asshole. What an asshole guy. She's like Tails, only less stupid. It won't budge. It's doubtful anyone else has gotten in. It's rumored Lord Solano's treasure is here, but nobody knows for sure. Okay. The door won't budge. You want to give it a try? Sure. Hey, hey something's happening. It opened. What on earth did you do, Adel? I just stood here being awesome. You're not just any old swordsman, are you? Let's go. Oh god, alright, it's a new dungeon then. Alright, let me let me let me see if I can find a map for this thing. So here we go, Slano's tomb. Oh, it's not particularly big, but there is a boss coming up. Alright. Okay, music here is pretty cool. Hey, level up! Let me save it since I just leveled. Oh shit, here we go. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, wow. Oh, I don't have the herb equipped. Holy shit, what the Okay. Okay, that that's that's uh it went pretty well, uh, Pokemon Showdown. All right, let me make sure I have the herb equipped here. Um, yeah, no. Buttons here. And we'll save it. Just in case this goes... No, I don't want to use it. Um, yeah, it is, it is like something out of Illusion of Gaia. Okay. I'm just constantly taking- wait, maybe I have to wait until he separates from his fire. Damn it. Alright, I'll use it. it. Alright. Okay, that's kind of what I gotta do. Is hit him when he's not near the fire. Okay. Okay, so this part, we just don't can't hit him. I just gotta avoid shit the best I can, which is not easy. Oh man, that's tough. The whole island made of fire. How manly. Alright, I'll just keep trying. I don't know what level I'm supposed to be at or whatever, but... No. Oh. He's trying to ask me a question and I ain't all about it. Oh god, I lose health so fast. All right, at least that time I didn't get nailed. Oh, I can't hit him there. Oh fuck. Te death teach him scythe tossing. I think those are axes. 
selective conviction. <laughs> The sucky thing is the axes don't seem to go in any, like, recognizable pattern. They just go... Well, I guess they kind of do. Ah, fuck. Alright. Damn it. Okay. That's how you hurt him. Damn it! Oh. The music is cool. All right, I was trying to see how far I can get without using the herb. I'll figure it out. It's a tough boss. I might want to level up before I fight him. I don't know. Damn it. Son of a bitch. That is fucking hard to avoid. Okay, here we go, here we go. Fuck. Damn it. Yes, they call Dogi Dogi in this. So far, the only one to call him anything but Dogi was the turbo version of e Swan. Which, by the way, is actually an improvement over the Sega Master System version, which didn't even get Adol's name right. They called him... They called him Aaron. Damn it! It's like he knew I was going that way. Fuck. Ah! Damn it. I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy, huh? Damn it. Alright, um... Okay, so my thought here is... Let's level up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. How, how long will it take me to level up? Once. Like, say, I'll level up once and then come back, you know. And, uh try it. I mean, I'll do more damage, take less damage, that kind of thing. Alright, I need 466 experience, so basically, it'll take a while. That's okay. Oh, we're getting okay amounts, and I can just go in a circle here, really. Ugh, Karna! I don't get the experience when you kill them. Let's, uh... While we're while we're grinding, let me uh wait one second, we'll play some music. East music, of course. Give me one second. A little faster now. Yeah, but she's not helping me fight the boss, so I don't care how much experience she gets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we'll just grind up while we listen to some music. Yes, you heard a mention of East music. And I'm actually playing the soundtrack to East Origin, <laughs> which contains your favorite East song. To be honest, I should try to get here with higher health, too, but what I should do is back out of here, and, uh, I wish I could heal in this place, but... Try to get here with better... health, I don't know. If I go out and come, you know, heal and come back in, I, like, should level up just from that. Incidental encounters along the way. Quiet! She's memeing! Oh, Lon Johnson. Oh, Lon Johnson. Not that way. 
Well, the plan is to do, because East Origins kind of has, like, uh, three campaigns. You play it with three characters. I plan to do it once for YouTube, and then, like, maybe the other two times we'll stream it, you know? That's kind of my idea with East Origin, at least. Oh, hello. No, I never Let's Played it, although I did put up a video of me beating the final boss with Unica once. No, I've never thought about streaming the original Fallout or any Fallout game. If I was to do older CRPGs, they would definitely not be Fallout. My interest in Fallout is, like, not a lot. I have thought about doing, you know, some... I mean, I did do an Ultima game on Game Boy not too long ago. So there's that. But, uh, yeah. I have thought about doing some of the older RPGs, like... But I'm more of a JRPG person anyway. But I've never really been interested in Fallout, to be honest with you. Like, just to be really honest, it's just never appealed to me much. I do have three in New Vegas, and I've like really never touched them. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. This ain't the way. Of course they're primitive. Yeah, Fallout's AJ's thing. They have opinions. Is I supposed to go up this way, maybe? Wait, let me kill that guy. He's a dick. Fuck him! He's a dick! Alright, this is more familiar to me. <laughs> I'm more of a Skyrim person. Healing, healing, healing. Today we are healing. It's funny how she won't let me go down here. <laughs> What's down there, Karna? Is that where your prawn stash is? You fiend. Alright, so I have 1996 experience. Uh, let me just check this. I need... 204 more. So basically at 2200. You will not buy Elder Scrolls 6? That's an interesting thing to say when we haven't seen anything more than a title screen. Not even a title screen, we saw a logo. It's way too early to say that you're buying it or not. Right. So this is where I'm gonna grind, I don't wanna get too far in. You didn't adore Skyrim. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of half kidding, but like Skyrim was really good. I mean, I've liked all the Elder Scrolls games, but Skyrim is definitely my favorite. Alright, she's stealing a lot of my kills here, and I'm not rolled with that. You preferred Oblivion? I mean, Oblivion was was a good game, but I thought Oblivion was definitely a step down from Morrowind. Like, to say the least. Okay. Dude, if it takes you 130 hours to get bored with a game, then you like the game. Oh yeah, now we're talking.
But you don't ever really beat games like that. Oh my god, East Origin has like the coolest fucking soundtrack. Listen to this shit. God, here we go. I'm not even sure if, like, leveling up is going to help all that much, but I'm going to do it. Oh, really, dude? That's the thing, is getting there without getting hurt too much. Wait, not there. All right, already, already I get messed up. Might as well go back out and heal. Harna, get out of my way, bitch. Should make her fight the boss, since she's so much more powerful than Adel right now. Hey, hey, all right. Stardew Valley is like, uh, kind of like Harvest Moon in a way. It was made to be like Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon with crafting. So kind of a mixture, really, of Harvest Moon and that uh, Harvest Moon spin-off series that I can't remember the name of. Rune Factory. That's a cool song. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, up here. Karna, you're in my way. Wait, no, not up there. Where the hell am I now? I went the wrong way. It's this way. Hey, I'm trying to kill you, sir. That's a lot of hours, but if it's if it's acting like therapy for you, that's a good thing. Let me just throw a save in here real quick. Oh fuck. Of course that guy had to hit me like twice too. We'll get to this boss and we'll kick his ass. Fuck! I'm oh, sorry to hear you've been feeling depressed, man. Hopefully things... perk up a bit. I know it's difficult. Kick his ass, take his grass! Oh god. Yeah, you can have that guy. Oh, well. I only need another 80 experience points to level up, so... Ow. Oh, there was no reason for that to hit me. Get him, Karna. That ain't the right way. It'd be great to have the, the divine cape or whatever, the spirit cloak, you know? I thought... I thought you could do mods on PS4. I mean, not to the extent that you could on PC, but... Yeti! Alright, here we are. Alright, so I'll finish out my grinding here since I'm pretty close. Kill these freaking 
turtle Pokemon, guys. We're fire type and turtle type. Oh, that did it. Leveled up. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let me save it. Let me kill the East Origin music real quick. We'll make another attempt at this. Let me put the music from the game back on. Santa may be getting you one. Oh god. <laughs> Interesting. Stardew feels like it could be multiplayer. Like it feels like it is. Oh, okay, cool. Like it feels like it should be, right? All right. Damn it. Already fucking up. I'm trying to look for the safe place to Okay, I kind of I kind of get it. If I go up like this and then down, oh, that doesn't do that great, but better than before. All right, I do seem to be doing a little more damage. It's unfortunate I take a lot more damage than I give the, oh God. So the axes kind of track you, but you can manipulate them. So far, I've only managed to manipulate them to hit me less. Oh, okay. Oh, can't do much there. I'm trying to play a little conservatively here. Okay. No, I don't think it's going to be another vampire battle. Look how much progress I've made. I can't seem to avoid those axes completely, but if I do that, I only get hit a little bit, and I'm taking a lot less damage than I was. Oh god. Alright, shouldn't have done that. Come on over here, dude. He's pretty much dead. Wait, why aren't you dead? Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, he had like no health. I'm like, die, you fuck. We got him. Give me experience, give me experience, give me experience, Ye I got it by the ass. Oh, hello, sir. You have? Got him! So I really just needed to level up once. Those bitches. There is little time. We need your Thank you, Mughal. And Chris, as well. The evil ones. I will now grant you the ability to use magic. Courtney will play Stardew with you. Oh, wait, magic? I think that might be why this game isn't considered canon. It's not supposed to be magic. Okay, where's Karna at? I feel like I should definitely save it, though, before I try anything. Wait, so I can use magic? How? Uh, hold on. Probably in here, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. It's just like East 2. Oh, hey, Karna, there you are. I sure am. What on earth happened? I oh. killed an axe guy and I got magic. Is that the treasure? Indeed it is. Who's there? Who's talking? Oh! What's this guy's name? Oh, there's... Okay, Bami is the girl. I forget the guy's name. <laughs> We've been unable to figure out how to get that door open. And the middle guy is the dude that pretends to be a good guy in the original game. In, in the remake, rather. Are you people the clan of darkness? That face. Holy shit. It's a face only a mother could love. I got it. You'd better just keep quiet and hand over that wand, cutie. <laughs> hey, Bami. 
I don't care if you insist or not. You're all going to die either way. Very angry, Mommy. And I am Garuda. So Garuda pretended to be a, a, a good guy in the remake, and it wasn't until the end of the game that it was revealed that Garuda was the main villain. Mommy, kill them. Wait. Certainly not going to fight Bami so soon. <laughs> nice dodge. Nice dodge. Yes, it's a challenger. Get the wall behind you. Okay. You made people out of bubblegum. Mildly. I can transform anything into a demon. Now, my lovely. Kill these two! You're really gonna send mooks after us? Oh, ah! Ah! Fuck you. Fuck you too. We killed him. Hey, what's up? We killed those guys. You're not half bad. But this I'm not half bad. I'm all bad, baby. Shit's happening. Extra swole guile. Guile! Do a sonic boom. We need to get out of here. Okay. I guess we just get... Wait, were those different enemies? Or am I just tripping? No. I might have been tripping. Uh... Has the landscape changed slightly, or is it just me? Guile. Guile, do a sonic boom. Kill these fuckers. I think the landscape has changed slightly. Yeah, look, I was just able to walk right over here. Instead of having to go all the way around today. Noun rises like the phoenix. Oh yeah, look at this. This is all... This is all fucked up. How am I going to get out of here now? That ain't it. It's been at least three times, right? Ah, uh, you heard the Gibbsy Noodle, didn't you? Where'd he go? Where are you, Gibbs? Oh, you're underneath me. Oh, it's a good boy. He was behind me. Ah, a good pupper. Wait. This way, perhaps? Ah, ah, ah. Wait, hold on. Check out what I can do. Watch this. Fuck you, dude. Alright. Uh, yeah. How do I... Okay, so this is unhelpful. Wait, wait. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. I don't think I want to go up that way. 33% cat. <laughs> oh, when you have literal balls, 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 balls of fire. I had to do it. Stop stealing my kills. Balls of steel. I think it's actually this way, though. Yeah. That's true. We gotta schedule this critic soon. Please wait. I'll call my friend. Karna played a wind f on on. Mm. Karna played on a wind flute. Yeet. Oh, so that's why there's white frosting on that post. That's bird shit. A dove brought a letter to Karna. That's true. I could do that. Thank you, Roos. That dove is my best friend. He's named Roos. That's great and all, but you should probably try to make some people friends. If we use Roos, we can both communicate. We could communicate by talking, too. Have you tried that? If his wind flute is played where he can reach... He'll always come. He came all over that post! I can see that he's come many times. The thing is friggin'... That's a Krispy Kreme right there. Yeah. And I agree, Matt. He's brought a letter from my friend even now. Just a moment. Ah. Renmos has regained... 
Consciousness. Adol, I'm going back to Arietta. Are you going too? Yeah, sure. I see. I'll go ahead. You take care and get back safely. Also, I'll give you ki I'll give you one of these flutes. Da 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 da. From now on, let's communicate using Roos. If you're ever in trouble, use that flute. <laughs> Baby, you can blow my flute. Toot, toot. Baby, you can blow my fucking flute. Toot, toot. Oh, shit. Accidentally leaned on the volume button there. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Sorry, Nat, I had to. Wait, now I can go down here, but I should go back to the village. Back to the village again. That song holds deep symbolism. Deep. That's deep. Hey, what's up, guys? Alright, hold on. Let me check. Uh, oh, check my items. Okay, I should buy another herb before I do anything else. I need to go to the hospital anyway, so... Welcome! I'm Bill, Dr. Flair's assistant. What can I do for you? First, give me a fucking herb. A uh, herb? It's 100 gold. Is that alright? No. Yes, it is. It's fine. It's fine. I got lots of money. Alright. Uh, let's see Renmos. You want to see Renmos? Come this way. Hey, Renmos. What's going on, dude? <laughs> D. Also, Tiny Ain't Shit should do be whack. You turned into a giant spider, and I kicked your bubblegum ass. The leader is a cruel and murderous man named Garuda. She do be whack. And there's a savage giant, Gannis. Gannis, yeah. But the most dangerous is probably the woman, Bami. Bami's the most dangerous? I would've thought Garuda, but okay. Oh, she's the one that, yeah. Because that's right, she did capture him. Please be careful. Someone who ain't shit. Uh, Tanya? Riddle, way to bring it back. I'll be careful, Renmos. Just, just shut up. Stop talking. Okay, should I be pressing a button or something? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> something tells me the Japanese voice was a lot longer there. Tanya West. Oh, oh, oh. Tanya West. Tanya West. Tanya West. Y'all really ain't shit. Tanya. Yo. Gibbs. Where are you? Gibbs. Come here. Come here. I want to tell you something. Come. Come here. I'm telling him. Gibbs. Tanya West. Yeah, see, he, 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 he's like, you ain't shit. You ain't shit for that. <laughs> you really ain't shit for that. <laughs> he went back to bed. Nobody here. Well, that's... Disappointing. Isn't isn't that where Karna lives? Okay. Beamed. All right, let me save it. And I'm guessing I should just try to move on past the mountain. Renmo's regained unconscious consciousness, rather regained unconsciousness. Good news indeed. Uh, Karna checked on Renmo's and after rest went into the forest. We risk our lives in order to protect this forest. Wait, she went into the forest. All right, whatever. Kanye West. Y'all really ain't shit for that. Alright, so let me try the whole, like, oh, shit. Let me try the whole flute thing. That's not where the flute thing is. Alright. I'll go over to the cum soak post and blow my flute. Bobby, you can blow my fucking flute. Toot, toot. What's up? A letter attached to Roos's foot. Kanye Quest. Yeah, I know Kanye Wiz. Like, y'all really ain't shit for that. It reads as follows. To Karna, Renmos is doing fine. The unease amongst us is also settling down. We're all worried about you. Please return to Arietta quickly. Member number 28, Bob. Some dude named Bob. Seems legit. All right. Like, look, you clever little shit. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Uh, uh, 
Okay, wait, can I just walk over this? Okay, cool. Wait, what? Oh, that's a game? Oh, jeez. Ah, gotcha. You ain't shit. Whoa, what, what is that thing? It's freaking behem. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going. It's a sneaky snake. Kanye Quest 3030. Why does that exist? Oh, I recognize the song. I have no idea where I should be going. I'm just going. Wait, there's a cave here? It, oh, okay. It just puts me up there. Uh, 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 uh. This guy's spaghetti. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Oh, it's Tommy, sir. How you doing? I'm playing some East Ford on I'm loving it so far. Right. Oh, this is technically a dungeon. I can't heal in here. That ain't shit. By the way, Hitomi, I don't know if you've heard this. I know you've heard it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Tanya ain't shit. Okay, so that's technically a dungeon. Toast, toast, toast. Tanya ain't shit. Plot twist, Tanya ain't shit. Tanya ain't shit, take a mushroom. Well, this is the sea of trees, all right. Oh, hey, fucker. Okay. So I can... So that you go up there. All toast is toast. Toast! Except they don't. They toast bread. Hmm. This place is cray cray. Uh, 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 uh. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just going. The guy with the fake nine has an entire bird named Ta no named Tanya West. <laughs> he has an entire bird named Tanya West. Hey, level up. Okay, cool. You can have them toast toast. That is true. You can do that. That that is real. I have no idea where I'm going. Ba 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 Oh, okay. I'm finding ways to go. Er, schnicky schnick. Gotcha, bitch. I fucking love toast. Who looked at bread and went, cook it again. It's true, though. A toast is, is very pleasant. I like toast quite a lot. I can go up or I can go left. Let's try going left. His pet serpent who stalks Everain. Holy shit. Moogle's a fucking savage. Oh. Oh, new enemies here. Okay. Wait, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Moogle's a fucking savage. Holy shit. Double toast? No, that makes fair. Oh, let's see what's up here. Wait, what is this? The Great Deku Tree? Oh, it's a tree village. Wait. See, in the remake, Karna lives in a tree village. Don't... See, in the, in the remake, Karna lives in this village. Cinnamon toast for the win. Toast, 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 toast. We've been waiting. This is Yupal, village of the great tree. Please see our elder Garcia. Ah! Stop talking. Isn't there a tree village in Gen 3 of Pokemon? Yes, there is. We defend the forest together with the great tree. Can't get in there. Uh, uh, uh. One who knows the hidden past will inherit ancient wisdom. 
Such people are known as sages. Ramus, who lives at the top of this tree, is one such sage. Now get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> the Great Rota Tree. Its roots are said to spread endlessly to the other side of the ocean. Yeah, there were Rota Trees in, in, in Asteria and East. Wait, let me not go up there yet. Let me look around. Yeah, thanks, random stranger. Like, this is the thing I tell to people who come into my house. I'm Garcia, the head of this clan. You must be Adel. Ramus the Sage has foreseen your visit. That's what they do, right? He said the Light of Hope, which will save Salsetta, will soon arrive here. Even we do not know what the Clan of Darkness is after. The Mask of the Sun! Don't you know? Come on, now. But the increase in demons is certainly terrifying people. You might be the chosen one who will oppose the clan. It's the Elder Tom Selleck. <laughs> the protection of Salsetta depends on an unseen force. It'll soon become clear whoever it is. First of all, please meet up with Ramus at the top of the tree. All right, do you guys have like a weapon shop or? No. no. What is happening, Chris? Thank you for the bitties, the bitties, the bitables, the bitables. Those with Ramus's protection can climb even this great tree. I will pray for your safety. Can't go in there. Oh God, that show. Le oh God, yes. Oh, okay, wait, wait, well, let's, let's, let's not go there yet. That's clearly a dungeon. I still haven't found Ramus. He ain't shit. Oh, wait, this is where I came in, right? Okay, alright. I'm trying to learn the layout of this place. Didn't, like, start as a series of movies? We pass away our days talking with the forest trees. That seems very boring. That seems really boring. Four movies, yeah. And I remember the the movies being pretty sexualized and then the, the TV show really wasn't. Yeah, all right, yeah. Okay, maybe I have to go through the dungeon to get to Ramus? What about Blade Runner or Highlander? What are you talking about now? Oh, you're talking about that inspired... Well, Blade Runner inspired everything. Do you guys sell weapons in any of these places? Our ears can discern the throbbing from the pit of darkness. Okay, I see why you're on like a different branch from everybody, because you're freaking everybody out talking like that. You're talking about your ears and throbbing and pits of darkness? Lady, calm your damn ass down, all right? Shit. No, it's this asshole. I guess there's no, like, weapon shower. I'm, I'm like, can I get better weapons yet? Uh. All right. All right, I guess we're, we're climbing up. All right, let me save it. I guess I got to go through this shit to get to Ramus. Rutger Hauer was in a Highlander movie? No, Lex had Hi Rutger Hauer, not Highlander. What are you talking about, Manic? Rutger Hauer is in Blade Runner? The Great Rota Tree. Alright, All right, these guys moving fast as fuck. I definitely could use some upgraded equipment. Yo, yo, ooh, oh, yo, 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 get the fuck back here, bitch. Holy shit! That was the thing. Oh, okay, I should probably not smush into enemies that are, like, in the corner like that. I should probably shoot magic at them. I should probably get a, get a map of this place. Let me see. Is there a map for Great Rota Tree? Uh, let's see. Let's see. The Great Rota Tree, here it is. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to figure out where I am on it. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I can get a road of fruit by going left. 
It's a village and a dungeon, yes. You ain't shit. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would clip that, because I would have gone back and clipped it had you not. Thank you so much, Noun. Reliable, rude, cheese, elegigle. Alright, so if I go up this way, it leads to a road of fruit. Oh, I didn't even see that fucking walking stick, motherfucker. It took walking stick li literally. Get your bitch ass back here. Thank you. Got the road of fruit. I got it on the ground. Still gotta fight this guy. Wait, where did, so where does that lead? Oh god. Oh, that leads to the friggin' windy area. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so should I have gone the other way? Where does the other thing lead to? I'm confused. Let me try going over, like, here-ish. A voice resonates from somewhere in Adel's head. Adel would be a great character for Smash, I think. Rude cheese? You don't eat that. Maybe I do. The path ahead is sacred. It'll open only to one who holds the Orb of Darkness. Okay, so I literally can't go that way. Alright, let me... Holy! God, why is this game so fucking cool? Bitch. I feel like the enemies are like avoiding me. I want to go back to the village and heal. Bitch. You know, I feel Adel would make a fantastic Smash character. Okay, wait. So let's let's go back here and heal. You know, who's not in Smash. There's a lot of characters that are not in Smash. We'll see how many people call it wise, yeah. Tails and Eggman for Smash, no thanks. Big, big no thanks to that. Alright. Um. Alright, let me see what this other shit leads to then. Damn it. Man, fuck that guy. Oh, this is the guy. Okay, hey. Ramos has been waiting for you. I will call on him. Are you gonna blow a flute? Baby, you can blow- Oh shit, he's a ghost. Bubsy sucks. I don't want Bubsy anywhere near Smash Brothers. Oh! Adol Kristin. Oh! Adol. I want to suck your blood. Ah, ah, ah. I will tell you the true history of this land. You're going to tell it to me very slowly. Hear my thoughts. Yeah, it took so, I, took, I took so long to get to him, he died. In the distant past, a nation was founded on a small continent in the Great Durham Sea. Wait a minute. Is that Lord Eldeel? Was Eldeel? Dude. They're, sh they're throwing a lot of story elements from the end of the game here. Early on. Yes, Mask of the Sun. God with a lowercase g, but yeah. This is so cool. Yeah, K rules in Smash. The Jesus. Sir, I am the Jesus. I have come to Smash. Jack and Daxter? That would be that would be an interesting choice. 
Jesus for Smash. <laughs> the Jesus isn't Smash. Some people can kiss my dick, Matt. Goku. They have they have at Erdrick. That's as far as it goes. That don't mean nothing, EB Agent. That don't mean nothing. Ooh, look at that guy's hair. I'm sure you could tell me more than that, but it takes you a long time to say anything, so I'm good. There's two more, you fuckers? And poor Noun's like, oh no, here we go again. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. Oh, I'm healing here, too. Cool. I'm keeping an orb for you from Ramus. One moment, please. Where did she pull that out of? Ramus is in meditation. Please leave him be. Alright. It's that Grinch thing from Dark Crystal. It's Nanny- Oh god, I took so much damage there. I'm gonna go back in here and heal. It's Nana Skeksis. Wow, you heal slow in this place. Hey, what's up? I'm literally just standing here, trying to heal. We don't need to talk to each other. You can stand over there. You don't need to walk over. All right, see you. See you later, shit lords. Screw you. All right. Okay. I'm actually gonna. Oh God! You're fucking damn it, son of a bitch. Well, fuck. Do I still have the- Whoop! Oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I know, there's no jizz around here. Alright, hold on. Do I still have the orb, or do I have to go- no, I think I have to go back and get the orb. Oh, that means I gotta, like, watch the cutscene again. Uh -huh. Gotta remember not to chase enemies into corners like that. I don't know why they keep going in corners. I want nothing to do with Earthworm Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earthworm Jim should be nowhere near Smash. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna make up my own story since we heard it once. Adol Kristen. I am the Jesus. I came from the land above, known as Canada. We do a weed at least once daily because it's legal here. Thousands of years ago, before Sigourney Weaver, there was a city that was completely sepia. And there were these people called the Aldean, and they had wings because they worked for the Jesus himself. Lord Eldeel, who called his people the Aldean, it's kind of like how Professor X called his students the X-Men because he's a douchebag. So there were these three sky daddies with amazing flowing hair and bracelets. And then the Sepia City sank into the maple syrup. And they said, from henceforth, we will only do one weed a day. But then, one day, these people went to Magic France land, and they had sex with the people without wings, and they had babies, and they grew a nation where they ate pears and did weed. But then, some of them became farmers, 
And some of them are like, hey, why are you farming? And they're like, we like farming, bitch. And they got into a big flame war. And there was, there was sex and drugs and rock and roll. There was a pitchforks and hoes. And I mean the gardening tool, not prostitutes. Although there were prostitutes. And some of the people were sepia colored. And there was some angry knights in the foreground. And big purple man with big white hair. <laughs> Thank you, Noun. Abigny Vivacious Pasta Give Please. That is the story of the Jesus. This lady next to me will take an orb out of somewhere and give it to you. Talk to her and then make sure to save the game. You will save the game so that you don't have to watch this cutscene a third time. Now, the Jesus casts you out. Alright. Alright. Got the orb of darkness again. Save the game because I freaking died on the way down before. That's why we had to do that again. Thank you, Terry. That was pretty sweet. Hello, I am the. Ah, ah. No, oh, pressing the wrong button. Oh, what am I doing? No, no, no. Oh, ah, ah, fuck. What is going on here? Jesus. You should not have made fun of the Jesus. Ah, it's pronounced Jesus. All right, all right, go this way. Earthworm Jim can just stop existing and I would be fine with that. You know what I'm saying? The Wrath of the Jesus. Okay, guys, I think uh, this is a good time to uh, call it quits for the day. We're going to we're gonna go over the schedule, do a raid and everything. Thank you for everybody coming by. I've enjoyed this game. We're definitely going to play more of it. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go over to the ending screen. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Let me go over the schedule for you guys. Tomorrow afternoon, um, we're going to be doing uh, Fatal Fury 2. So that'll be cool. Fatal Fury 2 will be tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. Then join me Tuesday at 8 p.m. for Delta Rune. Uh, hopefully we get through the rest of it. It's supposed to be only about three hours long, and I already played it for about 45 minutes, so shouldn't be a problem. Wednesday afternoon at 1 p.m. will be Skyrim. We're going to be starting Skyrim Thursday night, 8 p.m. The Illusion of Gaia. We're continuing that. Friday afternoon will be more Skyrim. It's scheduled for 2 p.m., though you guys know if I'm feeling up to it, I may start early on Friday and start at 1 and then Saturday night at 8, we're going to start Cuphead. I know we kind of already started Cuphead, but we're going to be starting it over because that was a big, giant fail last time with my internet being shit. No, the Jesus didn't reverse my controls. I was just trying to press the magic button, and it, it the Jesus was a dick. All right. Let's see who we're going to raid, guys. Please stick around for the raid. Let's see. Where am I going to send you guys today? Uh, 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 uh. Let's raid Tally. I haven't raided Tally in a bit. He's only got two viewers. He's currently playing Rocket League, which means he's probably drinking and talking some shit. Tally is a really cool guy. We're going to go over there. Did you accidentally start another meme? That's what you do now. Imagine if you did it on purpose. So we're going to raid Tally time. Gaming. He's playing some car soccer. He's currently he likes to actually stream a lot of games. So it's like sometimes he'll change games throughout his stream. Like he'll be doing Rocket League for a while, and then he'll do like Mortal Kombat or whatever. But um, yet yeah, last yeah he he was on break, and then yeah he just listened to music for him for three hours. But wasn't it fun? Like, but he's actually playing Rocket League right now. We're gonna go ahead over there. I want you guys to make a shitload of noise as you go through there. Almost all of you are subscribers. Spam the emotes. Oof oof Hong Kong yoot. Just, just make a shitload of noise. I want like a wall of bullshit to flood Tally's chat. He's going to absolutely love it. Here we go. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for some Fatal Fury 2. I'll see you guys on Tally's channel. I'll see you guys on Discord. And I'll see you fucking around in general. Oof, 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 oof.